YouTube, I'm back, and this is your boy TK20, the Caribbean Gamer, and what you're looking at is Uncharted 4, A Thief's End in the Upscale 4K. Sorry guys, it's not native. With that being said, it's still a beautiful and gorgeous game. Just look right here guys. This is actual gameplay. No cinematic bullshit. Okay? So first, let's talk about the visuals slash graphics. Uncharted is a game that will leave your mouth open wide. It's gonna leave you breathless. It's gonna leave you astonished. Yes, it look just that damn good okay and it has a lot of environments for you to traverse from underwater cavern caves beach ocean um rocks um graveyard snow i mean buildings mud um rainforest um pirate tombs um whatever you're not gonna be disappointed in terms of location and speaking of location the game is a little bit open world in most cases you can freely go and explore areas and then come back and go and do your main mission I'm, I'm not talking about just to go and collect the treasures or whatever you can freely just leave your set path and go and explore okay that's one thing good i like about this game now let's talk about facial expression and animation this is something that was uh, the tomb raider did horrible there wasn't any freaking facial expressions look right here Facial expressions, facial expressions. I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. At least you got to go for a swim. Did you find any exciting garbage? Okay, that's something Uncharted and Naughty Dog are famous for. Character design, character animation, and beautiful facial expressions let's touch another thing right here guys cinematic in uncharted 4 the cinematic are all gorgeous and it's a smooth transition from cinematic back to actual gameplay it's hard to tell from cinematic to actual gameplay if you're not paying close attention in words of the tomb raider as soon as the cinema cinematic is over, you can actually tell it's back to gameplay. There wasn't any smooth transition at all. I'm not saying it was bad, but I'm just telling you. In Uncharted 4, it's just a smooth transition from gameplay to cinematic. From cinematic back to actual gameplay. Okay? Also, Uncharted is a game that can be boring based on how you like your story to be told for me and my personal taste it was a bit boring a bit too long and it dragged on too damn much okay i know they wanted to end it for the last of the trilogy but the story dragged on a little bit too much for my i'm gonna quote again my personal taste i'm looking at you k zero wing okay also what uncharted did that i don't like was too much character chatter again that's my personal taste and opinion okay here's it i guess that's how I mean Naughty Dog build character um, relationships between 
the characters who are with you at all times but the chatter was a little bit too much at times i just wish they would just freaking shut up some of the things they was talking about is what helps to make the experience bored boring okay you're gonna see what i'm talking about let's switch to combat same thing goes for combat you're having an awesome combat and drake is gonna hey sally did you see that shot come on man combat should be more serious and not time to be farming fool and act like a damn jackass okay do you see sylvester stallone call chuck knives over the phone and say hey did you see that shot i just made from 400 yards no because you're in combat you're supposed to be serious watching your back and looking for what other directions enemies should or will be coming from instead these guys um doing combat and they're acting like some four-year-old laughing and giggling all over the place something that i just do not approve again that's my personal taste and opinion okay regardless though the combat can be fast fun smooth fluid tons of gunfire tons of explosion okay for some of you guys it may not be hardcore or greedy enough okay unlike in two ways of the tomb raider when lara melee combat an opponent and she stick that ice pick in your opponent head that motherfucker is gonna get his head pop open you can guarantee you that okay in uncharted he just um hand to hand and then uh sully uh samuel is gonna come up and hold the guy and you all double team him again it's based on your personal opinion it's fun but for some of you guys you may not like it also let me touch on combat one more time you have at least 21 to 22 weapons that you can choose from and go freaking nuts from 40 millimeter grenade launcher to the big blaster rpg 7 you have handguns um sniper rifles both for fire assault rifles semi automatic fire rifles full auto submachine guns you have a wide range to choose from based on the scenario based on your preference also hear me out again this is our based on personal preference uncharted gave you too much running jumping climbing and rope swinging drake is going to tell you hey let's climb this building you climb the building you get up top he's going to survey the area and then he's going to look behind and say guess what we have to go to that point so you have to rope swing jump climb shimmy to that point when you reach to that point you have to climb again to solve a puzzle activate a switch move a picture frame you get it and the combat as i said are too far in between after you don't add that you think a group of enemies is gonna come hell no you got to go find another switch or another puzzle again and some of the puzzle can well actually there are a few puzzles that drag on a bit too long like once twice three times four times five times all the way up to six times i was like what the hell I actually turned off, went and come back before I could finish that puzzle. Okay? However, all in all, it's a good experience, a good package, a lengthy um, single player, you have multiplayer, and then you have survival. So, yes, who should get this game? Every single body. If you're a fan of Tomb Raider, Indiana Jones, Naughty Dog, Uncharted, then get this shit, okay? If you're a fan of action adventure, get this shit. If you want something to showcase your PS4 Pro or to show off your 
4K Ultra HD TV, this is the shit to get. Look at this scene right here, guys. Spectacular. Look at the wood. Look at the tree shadow imprint on the wood. Well damn done. Okay. In clothing, I just want to say that if you pick up Uncharted 4, you won't be disappointed. Again, based on your personal preference. Some of you guys are going to like the combat. Some of you are going to hate it. Some of you are going to like the story. Some of you are going to hate it. All in all, I find it to be a decent package with everything combined. Okay? When should you get this game? Again, it's up to you. But I would say get it right now. It's just something you need to see. Especially the Madagascar levels. Ah, uh, if you're from the Caribbean, look right here, guys. This reminds me of Caribbean Batik slash the rainforest, guys. Birds chirping, um, palm trees, um, mud, crayfish, all kind of things. Okay? You guys from the Caribbean, uh, if you're from my area, you're going to know what I'm talking about. So to sum this up, sound design, awesome. Character animation, awesome. Character closing, awesome. Character design, awesome. Story, for me it was good, not great. Okay? That's my personal taste. Lighting effects, spectacular, well done. Okay? Your characters, who you're with? Were they any helpful to you? Well, that's your personal preference, but I like them all. Except the ladder chatter that they gave. All in all, Uncharted is a game that I highly recommend. Okay? This is your boy TK28, the Caribbean Gamer. But before I go, I just want to give a special holla to my boy K0 Wing. I just want to say, guys, Thank you for pointing out my mistakes and my error in the last video. Much appreciated. I'm out. Peace.